Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to a brand new series called How to Make a Doom Mod. With your host, Roman Letch here, and I'm not going to be showing any tutorials, I'm just going to start with how to get a good start, get started. Now, software. What do we use? Should you wish to start with level creating, I would highly recommend Doom Builder. Or even better, Doom Builder 2. Um, it's a level creator for Doom. You can modify existing levels. Uh, it's, it's very easy to use, and I'll be showing you how to use it in later videos. For coding, image mapping, and everything else, I'll be using Slump Editor. Um, that's one of the best uh, word editors I've ever used. I would recommend XWE as a starter, but um, slump. Some of the things in that does generally help you with coding. Um, XWE can do things that slump can, for example, renaming multiple spr um, parts of sprites, you know, na named to sprites, without having to redo the whole name. Unfortunately, um, depending on your antivirus, it might see it as a as a threat, you know, as a virus, so I had to get rid of it unfortunately. But when I first used it, it was brilliant. It was good to have an image manipulation program, or for example, a program like that's better than paint. You can use paint, you never stop him with doing that, it's just a simple you know, fix up, but you want to need to use transparent images to do some of the things um, be showing you in this mod. When it comes to importing, importing um, custom sprites. Um, for those who wonder what, the, what a sprite means, it just means picture. You know, sprite, picture. It's just a game term. If it comes to custom sounds, then Audacity is a great program. Uh, modify, make loud, make it sound louder, quieter, make it sound like it's an echo. Do much anything with that. I mean, in terms of image manipulation programs, uh, GIMP, that's a good one. That has touch band backgrounds. Um, Photoshop, definitely, definitely Photoshop, so that's a great program. I use Photo Impact 10, um, it's an old program. I've been using it for the longest time and it's something I've got adapted to. Make sure you use a program that you're, that you're good with, that you're strong with, because you can get the best out of that. Trust me. And a quick tip with uh, image, transparent images, make sure there are no soft edges. Make sure all the edges are as rough as you can make it. Because if you have soft edges, it will appear sort of like a grey outline or um, a coloured outline, depending on what the image is. Because um, Doom doesn't really do transparent edges. Okay, I'm now going to move on to running mods or running Doom in general. Uh, running Doom, there's several ways to do this, but I'll tell you the three main ways that I do. First off, ZDoom. Uh, ZDoom's a great program to start with, to play classic Doom. But it, it can also be used to play other Doom mods, but to start off, I'm going to start with ZDoom. Now, all these programs and everything I mentioned is free. They're all free. ZDoom. It's a free piece of software which allows you to play Doom, Doom Mods, or any games like Heretic, Hex and Strife, and Free Doom, and Chex Quest. Uh, any games that are, well, Doom clones. If you get the Doom, you go to the, to the site, install it, and you should have a little picture of a space, green space marine standing there with his gun. Now, it won't do anything, it's probably useless until uh, you follow the next step and that is to get Doom as a WAD file. Uh, WAD means where's all the data because back in the day all the resources were all separate files. A WAD just puts them all together. The thing is, where's all the data? So, um, to acquire a WAD file you can either go on the internet or you can buy it off Steam. It's the dead cheap. Um, now don't mistake um, iWads with other ones. iWad is the 
is at the source uh, of what? Um, Doom 2, that's an I one. You, you run other ones off that one. That has all the original. Um, well, it has everything from Doom. And you run programs which can change it or change the way the game plays or um, to change some of the sounds or make a completely different game out of it, which I've seen. It's amazing what people have done in the past. Okay, so you just got an iWad. And what do you do with it? Well, you put it in the same folder as ZDoom. This step applies to all the other programs to run in Doom. So you put in the same folder and you'll run ZDoom. And if it's just got one iWad, it'll just run. If you have multiple, it'll give you the choice of selecting which iWad you want to play. I recommend getting more than one. So you've got more options. Um, especially with school tag, if I remember correctly. Yes. Especially with school tag. I'll get to that in a minute. A little menu should pop up to let you choose which I would want to play. I would highly recommend starting off with Doom 2. That is the that's the most basic um, source to make what's for. Okay. So you've just run Doom, you're on the menu, the jingle's playing, um, Next thing I'd suggest is you set, set up your controls and your settings you know, for music on or off. And then just play your first level to see, see if, you, if it's right for you, if the controls are alright, if everything's running smoothly. Now, you just just set up Z Doom. Well done. GZ Doom. Now, the difference with GZ Doom is more advanced. You can do rather spectacular things with that um, and some things I even I don't know because let's face it I can make mods but I'm not the best mod maker out there I can teach everything I know in terms of mod making you can do things that are not possible in ZDoom or even school tag that's the go to place if you really want to make really spectacular mods um, it's Basically, exactly the same as you do. Now, same way to install it and run it and everything. Now, my favourite, Skull Tag. Um, hence the name Mr. Skull Tag. My uh, channel. Skull Tag is, um, for me, the best way to run Doom. Um, some things you can do in GZ Doom you can't do in Skull Tag. But when you get that menu, it'll give you the choice of hardware mode. Turn that on. And anything in OpenGL, turn it on. Trust me. Yeah, will open so many doors of what making. I mean, it works ten times better. Um, it likes to do figgy floors, dynamic lights, um, cool things, 3D doors that open like that instead of upwards. I'll get to that when it comes. And also, multiplayer is a key thing. I'll get to multiplayer later. But now I have just explained how to run Doom and I've advised you how to start wad making. Then, the first lesson will be, in fact, weapons. How to make a new weapon for Doom. This has been. How to make a Doom mod with me very much. Thank you for watching.
Thank you.